What's up? Andros here doing another review for the Nintendo Dads YouTube channel. And today we are going to be reviewing uh, Dungeons and Bombs. Which, based off the trailer, looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks like a combination of Crypt of the Necrodancer and Bomberman. Yeah, so we'll we'll see we'll see how how this plays. Um, I definitely enjoyed Crypt of the Necrodancer. I've played a lot of Bomberman games. Uh, I also played through most of Cadence of Hyrule and really like the like rhythm style. So I'm I'm not 100 percent sure if that's how this plays, but we'll we'll see. Okay, I can't change stage. A thousand years ago, there was a flourished kingdom in these lands that was already called the Ancient. And so, the idol would have continued, if not for the unholy union. Under its shadow, tribes of orcs from wild lands, necromancers and undead from chilly crypts, as well as apostate knights from outskirts of the kingdom. <laughs> that, that sentence just didn't re <laughs> And they decided to kidnap the beacon of the whole kingdom. It's Princess. I, I, I didn't see the rest of X. <laughs> under cover of night, they stole her from her own bedroom and hid her in the ancient catacombs under the castle. Few would dare to descend under these gloomy vaults, but only one hero was needed to save the princess. A kleptomaniac and a pyromaniac with an unhealthy craving for explosions, but still the most devoted knight at court. He was sent by the king to find his daughter. Will a brave knight be able to save the princess or... Is he destined to perish in darkness among enemies? I guess I'm just letting go. Save me, my knight. That princess has a beard. Is this the princess? <laughs> Get yourself together. And it's got this, like, weird TV effect going on. <laughs> oh. Alright, so each time I move, like, uh, different things in the environment. Oh, and I didn't even notice that on the side there. I have like a limited amount of moves. Interesting. So there's one way to solve the puzzle. Well, maybe not one way. Oh, it took you so long. Oh, I can drop bombs. Just, just, just realize that. I mean, this is dungeons and bombs. Oh, does killing enemies give me more moves? Well, it looks like. What took you so long? Well, you know, there was literally no explanation to the controls. <laughs> Button pauses. Hmm. 
<laughs> this, this, uh, bearded princess in the corner, man. Very unappreciative. Nope. Didn't make it. What a surprise. <laughs> no thanks. Interesting, like little puzzle game. Woo! Never see that coming. This looks exactly the same as the level I did earlier. Just less moves, I guess? Surprise. Oh no, I did even worse than last time. I don't know, maybe, maybe just placing the blowing up a bomb gives me more moves. do anything? Or are they just they're just decorative. They're just decorative. Decorative undead. Stepping on the spikes doesn't do anything. I thought, like, stepping on the spikes would hurt you. Get yourself together! The spikes was bringing down the move counter that whole time. Gosh, it took a while to figure that out. Maybe, it, was there like a tutorial at the beginning I was supposed to do? Well, you know what? I'm, uh, I'm all for <laughs> learning on the go, I guess. Oh, I'm extra dead. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, so... Yeah. 
The worst enemy in this game is boxes, apparently. Oh, so X just resets you back to the beginning. And felt like I was getting closer, but Let's see, I guess. Just two moves short. Bombs blow up like two two blocks away. Whoops. Just reset that. I'm gonna ex I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna exit. <laughs> I was hoping for some control or tutorial or something. Movement. Bombs. Pause and restart. I mean that is the controls that Oh good, I can just start back on stage eight. All right, let's do this. I feel like every game the Nintendo guys give me to review, I just like fail real bad at. I, I promise I'm not like terrible at games. I guess I jumped into the explosion there. Didn't know that was possible. do different here. Cause I, I'm taking that guy out. Maybe that was it. Oh, oh, I did it! <laughs> I was placing the bomb. I just had to place the bomb a little earlier on that second one. 
man that was that was way easier than it, well anyway it was it, it was it was tough but it was you've come finally I don't know how I feel about these like the weird like TV art style going on with the like lines going across I don't really notice it I guess Oh my goodness, you're kidding. I did. I did fail again. Well, I think... I'll do this one. I'll just do this one and then we'll call it good there, I guess. Do, do, do. Pro game. There, finish that, that level. Speed run. Well, this has been a uh, first look at Dungeons and Bombs. It is not what I was expecting based off of the trailer. I, I thought this was going to have like a beat element to it. Um. But it is more of like a Bomberman puzzle solver game. I, I'm not crazy into it. I didn't like that there's no tutorial at all. And I like I, I, there's the the controls at the top of the level. And, you know, th that beginning spot was like the, the intro dialogue was kind of dramatically weird. I don't know. Maybe I was just reading that wrong. But. So it, but it does it does feel like a nice little puzzle game. So I don't know. You you see how see how the gameplay looks, and maybe this would be something you're interested in. But this probably is one I won't be picking back up. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you would like more content like this, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, the like, the share, and stay tuned for more Nintendo Dad's content.